welcome to Coxie's Picks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today we're going to do a quick show and tell on the Bonaway Trilock um, handcuffs. These bad boys are huge, absolute monsters in size. But not only are they big in size, I'll just put a set of TCH 840s over for reference, they are also massive in security. Not only do they have what I would consider an incredible and formidable keyway, inside there they have three separate metal sheets all the way through the cuff, which then allow you to have the three pulls oversize and huge great chunky teeth to try and deter shimming. The key itself is a considerably different to a normal standard handcuff. So there's a handcuff key and there's a Smith & Wesson over next to the Bonaway. Um, which means that it does create a little bit of a problem for us when we come to picking. And one of the issues that you will concern is, is that you've got to try and navigate all the warding. Now it's a push button um, double lock. And one of the cool features with the double lock is that you push it and it's got three separate prongs down on side it. Now initially I thought it was three separate split bars like Chicago but it turns out that actually my thoughts were um, a little bit unfounded. So if we set the double lock surprisingly enough you just reach in with a standard pick wire go in between the warden and hit any one of the three and the double lock is removed which means that now all we need to do is figure out how to pick it but we've got three pulls now you could pick them in turn I was applying tension on it and then get one tooth at a time but that's quite long winded so then I thought a lot about shimming well the cool things with the Bonaway is they've got built into the body is a shim trap so let me just demonstrate that now with a shim as you're going through you get caught right in the centre there and because it's in the body, we can't hide it like we can on other models by just depressing the bow. So we needed a way to overcome it. Now, a commercial shim, such as the Gulag, as you can see, it is rattling around in there and wouldn't be able to cover all three. So I then thought about making a shim. So I made a shim a little bit wider, right, which would easily fit down in between the gaps. But it, again, it was only covering two out of the three, so I've had to make a bespoke shim. I've made a couple of them, and I found that 0.2 works really well. So it's quite wide, 0.2 mil all the way through. Now, to get over that hidden body, uh, sorry, the hidden trap in the body, we need to have the curvature of the bow so that we can hide in. So, sorry, there you go, just so you can see. So there are our shim has actually got a bend to it. And then just to finalize it, I've created a little ridge right at the end just to give it that upper hand with the step. And our plan is, as we're shimming, we're gonna try and hide in amongst one of the teeth, push in, and the tooth, because we heard them there, the tooth will lift us past the point of the trap, and then we'll be able to get past. So to demonstrate, in we go. Navigate our way around with this huge great spatula of a shim. All right, there we go, caught, there we go, past one tooth, now caught in the trap, so I come back a touch, lean up against the bow, so I'm now stuck, but I'm using the bow to actually help me through, and I've navigated past the trap, which means I'm now sitting at the teeth, so what I need to do now is just depress, and hopefully push, So we go and balance the first set of teeth, and there she goes. As you can see, we have now shimmed the Bonoe Trilock. So there we have it. Apologies for the long video, but I do believe these handcuffs do deserve it. They are an awesome bit of kit, and if you do get the opportunity to get hold of them, I highly recommend them. Well, stay safe, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.